In this video, I'm going to revisit Render Network, which I have reviewed already in February, but there are some interesting developments, so I wanted to get through that, as well as there's a very interesting report from Revelo Intel that I'm going to go through as well. So first of all, uh, Render Network is basically a distributed GPU computing, mostly used for rendering as the name suggests, and it's used by artists to actually get cheaper, cheaper and faster rendering times for their designs, especially 3D designs, it takes a lot of time, so uh, you need some kind of a solution, and Render Network together with things like Octane, Octane Rendering, uh, they really come handful helpful to to the artists and they're doing that and they even started in the real world so they started with like classical web to business uh, for artists and then they added this blockchain component where you can buy distributed power rented from somewhere someone somewhere else and this is a really cool solution so what I'm going to take a look at is, first of all, uh, there's a Revelo Intel Insights, uh, the whole article about Revelo, uh, about Render by Revelo, which is a platform with a different kind of insights, really cool one, uh, and th this is one thing. Another thing is there was some interesting price action on Render, so you can see on CoinGecko. Uh, basically, if you look at the last 180 days, uh, so last half a day, you can see this run up up here in uh, January, February, uh, this was caused by the whole AI hype that was around uh, chat GPT mania and basically all AI uh, crypto ran up but then of course there was a little bit of uh, pullback and but now we have the, the run up again and this run up is caused by totally different things because basically render uh, was mentioned a couple of times at the Apple event, Apple conference um, and they are being used in the real world so they're still developing if you go to uh, the Twitter uh, you can see that there are many artists actually commenting how they use it. They often retweet that. This is really, really, really cool here. So if you're an NFT artist and looking for really great things for 3D designs, then definitely uh, Render Network is a solution for you. Uh, another thing is that if you go to Medium, uh, they have a blog there and they talk about everything they do, and they do quite a lot. They preparing, for example, the website for, for the foundation, uh, different events, different metrics, uh, what, what's going on. As you can see, there's an article every couple of days here, uh, at least every week. So there's a lot of development. They have really working business, which is very rare in the crypto world because they have a real business uh, helping people. And on top of that, they have this component of GPUs being rented out to artists for rendering. Uh, of course, that might so sound complicated, but from the user perspective, that's super simple because from the artist perspective, you shouldn't worry about all the infrastructure, all the technicalities, you should just be able to render whatever you have. Uh, so let's get back to uh, Revelo now uh, and have a look at these insights from, uh, from Revelo. Basically, uh, they, ha they have a really great explanation at what Render does, uh, creating a peer-to-peer -peer network that enables GPU rendering tasks to be completed using idle GPUs. So if you have idle GPU, you can connect it to the network and someone else will use it and that uh, this way you can earn RD and their token, render tokens. Uh, content creators can access a vast network of idle GPUs, so for, for uh, exactly for, for rendering. Uh, so this only not only accelerates the rendering process, but also democratizes access to high quality rendering resources. Uh, also, uh, this will be probably used by uh, AI teams for uh, for training of AI models. Of course, you need a lot of GPUs to train AI models. Uh, training GP, uh, training AI is a little bit more complicated because of how you set up the, the neural network how many and how big GPUs you need uh, and so on. So this is a little bit more complicated, but definitely they're going into that direction uh, of uh, allowing to use the GPUs for AI training, which is also be super interesting in the future. Uh, so basically Render Network is trying to create this kind of uh, GPU cloud, uh, vast network of GPUs that are decentralized. So they are in between providing the software, providing the uh, both the idle GPUs and uh, how to use them and also a possibility to earn tokens because you pay uh, and get paid in render tokens. So overview, uh, the, I'm just going to skim through some of that. If you want to read the whole report, then of course go to Revelo Intel. Uh, it's definitely worth it for uh, for its price, uh, especially that there are many interesting reports coming almost daily, as well as different feeds. I have a separate video just about that. So uh, here is the the moment they they talk about. 
uh, render network and how this the, how the team actually started with Octane uh, and Octane was the software that was used for rendering, still is used uh, rendering uh, with its own file, uh, file uh, system uh, that you can use. Uh, and this really gives a lot of uh, help to artists, a great tool for artists as well to, to render the designs that they're doing. Uh, it's also really great for film and animation. Uh, this is exactly where Octane Render comes into place, into real, uh, real world. Uh, especially for virtual VR and augmented reality, uh, this gives a lot of help as well. So those are all different kind of uh, applications that Render Network have right now. Um, and then uh, there's a bunch of other applications that they're working on, uh, different examples showing also how much of GPUs we need right now in the modern world because there's so much need for computing power. Uh, so definitely uh, even looking at Amazon, how Amazon grew its own business, uh, because if, if you didn't know, Amazon is probably the most profitable in its web services business. So AWS, uh, the network, uh, is actually the most profitable part of Amazon. It's not the marketplace, it's really the, uh, it's even the, uh, the web services for the GPUs, and this shows the scale of the, of the business. So this is super interesting. Uh, and then there's uh, really a deep dive into how Octane Render works, what kind of options you have, a couple of tires, uh, and what kind of access to uh, different workload and different computing power you have. Uh, here's a general uh, graph about the three dominant players in a global cloud market, and it's basically AWS, so Amazon, Microsoft, and Google taking the, taking the most of the market, but there are also smaller players right now. There's definitely a big pie here to be played at, and this is where uh, Render is going. And if they play it right, then really they might grow much more. I think the valuation right now for Render is around $600, $700 million, uh, which might still be okay, even if you consider it outside of crypto. It, it is really, uh, really interesting. Of course, not a financial advice here, do your own research, uh, but uh, this uh, render is really looking good for the future uh, if they keep on executing, if they keep on building. Of course, that's the, the biggest uh, unknown. Plus, we don't know about the future competitive landscape. Uh, there are many, many things here, but they're definitely building in the right direction, meaning that uh, we definitely need more computing power being easily accessed throughout the entire world uh, on demand uh, by anyone. And this is what they're trying to, to build. Uh, so there's a little bit of competition they're talking about. So Filecoin, Coin, Akash Network, I have overcovered these two on my YouTube channel. So if you want to get deep dive into those, uh, then definitely have a look at that. Especially Akash is very similar, trying also to build this uh, super cloud uh, and doing that on the blockchain. Uh, ICP, uh, somewhat similar, not, not really that similar to, to render. Uh, then we have uh, uh, yeah, Akash again, so similar price action. The thing with Render is that it's really used by, by the artists right now, so there's a lot of adop adoption for Render. This is really a good, uh, the good moment. Um, and this is where they mentioned uh, on Revelo how Render was mentioned a couple of times through on different Apple conferences, Apple videos. Uh, so you can see uh, the sign for, is for Render or people related to Render talking on uh, Apple conferences, which is pretty cool. Like this is really uh, a blockchain company trying to do something in real world as well and making that uh, really great for the applications. So we can see that all that here. Uh, then there's valuation. So render is currently in uh, top 100. Market cap, as they write, it is over five, uh, 650 million dollars, and fully diluted valuation is over uh, 950 million dollars. So since since the start uh, of the year. Uh, the, the token appreciated by 300%, uh, reaching 2.6. Uh, you can see the full graph. So of course the, the peak was uh, in the bull market. It got basically up to $8. It's right now around $2.6. Uh, so definitely much higher than the ATH. Of course, it doesn't mean that it will ever go to that ATH, but it's something to bear in mind if you analyze the token. So there's a different burning mechanism as well. You can read about that. Um, and there's different positive catalysts being the conference. So this is the latest conference that caused the, the run up, which was in June, uh, which is going to be in June. And they might uh, talk more about, uh, uh, more about uh, render as well. And there's this run up here in price, as you can see, related to, uh, to this anticipation. Uh, 
Uh, so that this is super uh, super cool. Uh, so all in all, uh, really uh, really interesting. Of course, another positive catalyst that might be is, uh, GPUs being. Uh, we need more and more GPUs, but. It doesn't transfer that easily into render price going up because, of course, uh, render team needs to execute uh, flawlessly here so that, for example, AI teams can really consume this GPU power. And this is much harder to do uh, altogether. Uh, Really great project. I, I will be keep. I, I keep repeating that, and also I probably will return at some point again to render. To talk about their uh, what, what they're doing, especially after uh, maybe Apple conference. This will be a huge thing. Uh, so really interesting if you if you're looking, for example, for this kind of play for longer term, or if you're interested in the world of decentralized computing, uh, this is the place to go. Uh, very open community as well. So have a look at that. Uh, Twitter, of course. Uh, I will. Put, put, put the link down below. You will have all the ring, links in the Instabio. If you click here, then you'll be able to see and go to Medium and everywhere, everywhere else. Uh, so thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I tend to cover new chains, but also old protocols with new news uh, and a, a bunch of other stuff which are really interesting in the current moment in crypto. So subscribe and see you in the next video.